Hey guys, happy Friday. I hope that you are doing really, really well. Um, I always hope that for you. It should never come as a surprise to you that I am just sitting here hoping that you are having a great day, um, a great test, a great uh, coffee, a great time spent with your friends. I'm always hoping that things are great for you. Now I know that on this side of heaven, things aren't always great. So I'm gonna keep hoping, but if anything is ever flipped upside down from that and you need to talk to somebody, I hope you know that you can come and talk to me because I would love to joy with you and I would also love to um, sorrow with you because that's how, that's how relationships are built. And we're gonna be spending a lot of time up there together so we might as well spend some time down here together too. Um, so speaking of which, let's go ahead and get into our devotion. We are going to be reading from Genesis again, and it is Genesis 9, 12 through 15. And God said, this is the sign of the covenant I am making between me and you and every living creature with you, a covenant for all generations to come. I have set my rainbow in the clouds, and it will be a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and the rainbow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again will the waters become a flood to destroy life. Thank the Lord for that covenant, right guys? And don't we think about that? I mean, that's something we learned when we were itty itty bitty, Noah and the ark and then the rainbow and all of this. And I don't know about you, but when I see a rainbow, I remember that story. Even if it's in the way back of my mind, I'm filled with joy and happiness, just like a little child seeing it for the first time. I'm filled with joy and happiness. And then I do remember that that is a promise. I do think of God. So how he has these little things set up all over creation that drive us back to him. It's a pretty cool God we serve. It really is. Okay, so our devotion says, open the ark. Open your eyes. What do you see? God has kept his promise. The dark flood is over. Noah and his family are saved. Surprise! That faithful family received the precious gift of new life that day. God even wrapped the gift in a bright, shiny bow. In the same way that Noah waited in darkness for God to keep his promise, we wait this Advent to see God's promised Savior. And with the Savior comes the precious gift of new life. Open your eyes and keep watching for that great gift. And here's our challenge. I hope it's not a hard one. Oh, it's Friday, we gotta have an easy one. Um, the challenge is open your eyes this season. What small act of kindness can you commit to do each day from now until Christmas? Make a promise, a covenant to follow through. Be a gift because you have been given one. All right, guys, that's a pretty good challenge, actually. Make sure it's something that you can handle, though. Uh, don't say, I wanna buy a car for one person a day from now until Christmas. Obviously, we can't do that. So, you know, maybe it's just something like offering a stick of gum to the first person you see every morning or something like that. Paying for the coffee of the person behind you. Um, grabbing, um, two apples when you had out, head out for school of that day or granola bars or whatever. You know, just kind of um, spreading a little cheer for somebody else too. Anyway, I will talk to you later. Bye guys.